It's no secret that BIM is transforming the way architects, engineers, and builders design, document, and even coordinate on projects. The ability for all project participants to work and collaborate together on the same model has been revolutionary for the AEC industry. Fortunately, architects and engineers aren't the only participants in the design process who can realize the potential benefits of BIM. I'm Pierre de Renincourt with Pluralsight, and in this course, we'll discover how we can use Revit to develop our interior designs by taking a generic model with a low level of detail and transforming it to meet our design intent. We'll begin by exploring how to navigate the generic model. From there, we'll learn how to quickly duplicate and rename a few views, as well as create section views of wall assemblies. We'll then begin the interior modeling process. You'll learn how to apply various floor finishes from our material library, and we'll even create a custom floor finish from our own images. You'll learn how to customize wall assemblies by working with sweeps, materials, and even finishes. We'll even take it a few steps further, and I'll show you how you can place light switches and even outlets in order to make sure that your design intent isn't lost once this model is passed off to another design team member. Lighting and fixtures are extremely important in any design, so we'll also learn a couple of ways to create ceilings so that we can host lighting families. Finally, I'll show you how to work with schedules to leverage the data available to us in our information models. So by the end of this course, you'll be able to develop your designs more efficiently by knowing how to model detailed billing elements and materials, create high quality rendered images, and even use model data to create schedules to aid in cost estimation. So with that, I'm ready to get started and I'll meet you in the next video.